Rated M for Mature. Welcome to a very special episode of Playing Dead. I'm AJ Locasio, and I'm here in Oakland, California at the Image Comics Expo. Today, we'll be interviewing Robert Kirkman, the creator of Walking Dead, and revealing for the first time anywhere Telltale's game in action right here on Playing Dead. So, Robert, thank you so much for talking to us today. Hey, thanks for having me. This is, uh, this is pretty cool. So, a lot of fans want to know, and I want to know, uh, why is this not a story about Rick from the comic books? Well, I mean, the Walking Dead universe is a thing where, you know, you see Rick's story, you know, and, and you've seen pretty much every minute of Rick's story. Right. And I don't think... The way the show works is we're changing things up, so you're seeing a different Rick story. But this... Uh, game is very much set in the universe of the comic book series and if you were playing with Rick you would basically be doing the same stuff or you would be playing some kind of BS game that doesn't really have anything to do with the comic series. What's unique about this game is by focusing on a character that isn't key to the comic book series, you're able to see stories that actually do matter to the continuity. You're seeing, you're going to be seeing like Glenn for instance, right. That's the comic book Glenn. The story that you're going to see in this game actually happened in the universe of the Walking Dead comic book series. And so you may get a little bit of insight into what his life was like before he lived in the, you know, the comic book. So it makes the game a little bit more important and it'll be a little bit more fulfilling for fans, which I think is cool. So Telltale's known mostly for you know, their adventure games, but you know, a lot of people want to know why isn't this an open world shooter with you know, guns and chainsaws and what have you. Well, what's your take on this? Uh, that, that's what appealed to me about Telltale. Uh, you know, you, you can play Left 4 Dead, you know, you can play Dead Rising, you can play Resident Evil, those are all great games, and right. I do that, and I think other people should do that. But to do a Walking Dead game that's just that, would be pointless. I think that you would always be compared to that and it would you'd either be better or you'd be worse, but you'd be the same kind of game and that's no fun. And the thing that's important about The Walking Dead is that, you know, it has heart and it has drama and it's about people surviving in this world and it's about how they deal with the end of the world and how they interact with other people and what that does to a person. You know, it's all about evolution and, you know, what a character uh, uh, you know, how a character changes over time. And that's something that Telltale is able to actually incorporate in the game, which they wouldn't be able to do if it was just a run and gun, like right, I like totally. to cut people up kind of game, which again are great. But, you know, that's not what Telltale does, and that's why they're doing the Walking Dead game. You know, this is going to be a game where you're going to see these characters make decisions, and those decisions are going to affect the outcome of the game. And that's really exciting to me. The fact that you'll be able to play through this game from start to finish, and then start over again and make different choices and the game will be, you know, substantially different because of those choices uh, is, is really unique and exciting to me. And that's, that's really what we wanted to do here. Telltale designed the game to look quite a bit like the comic book, like Charlie's artwork. Uh, what, were you, what was your reaction to that when you first saw it? Well, people do that thing where they go, okay, you know, there's, there's certain aspects to a comic book that are really cool and I'm going to try and replicate that. Whether it's, you know, word balloons, funny captions, or, you know, if I can be critical of a game that I absolutely love, I think that the art style of the Marvel vs. Capcom 3 game with the, like, cross-hatching and the weird, like, line work on the figures, right. I wish that game just looked like Street Fighter 4, I'll be honest with you. I'm a comic book guy and I don't like the way that stuff looks. So when they came to me and they were like, you know what, we're going to try and make this look like Charlie Adlard's art, I was like, you know, I don't know, we'll see. But the way they've done it is just so, I don't know, it's, it's really impressive to me. I think it's a, it's a unique look. I think it's something that you can't really get in any other game. And it just looks really cool. And it has a comic book feel, but it doesn't take, it, a lot of times when people try to do that, they take limitations in the comic book space and they apply them to a medium that has limitations of its own right. and it messes the whole thing up but they've taken the best parts of comic books and adapted it into a visual style that I think is really unique and really exciting and uh, I don't know it's a cool looking game I enjoy looking at it. So last year you wrote a book called Rise of the Governor that you co-wrote right? Yes absolutely I, I co-wrote uh, Rise of the Governor with a talented guy named uh, Jay Bonin Singer. Jay Bonin Singer. Yes and, uh, and it, was a, it was a cool book and we had a good time working on it. And now, so with Telltale, you are, you are essentially collaborating with them, but you're not necessarily writing the whole thing. You've got the charming Gary Witta. Yes, and, the uh, charming and somewhat British Gary Witta. Yes, and, uh, and the writers at Telltale. And you're not, how are you involved with that? 
Well, I mean, I've learned, uh, I've learned to collaborate to a certain extent, you know, by working on The Walking Dead show. I've learned that uh, other people have good ideas and I should listen to them more, right. uh, which is a lot of fun. Uh, I'm joking. I mean, the comic book medium is all about collaborating with artists and, and, and you know, working together to form better ideas. So, so but, but it's on a much bigger scale in television, which is kind of cool. And so, you know, being able to interact with people and come up with better stories is a lot of fun. And, you know, uh, uh, when you're doing an adaptation, you always want to make sure that you pick the right team. And when you're talking to somebody, you know right away whether or not they get the idea and whether or not they understand its intent and whether or not they're going to do it justice. And in talking to Telltale, it was, a, it was immediately you know, clear to me that you know, they love The Walking Dead. They know The Walking Dead. You know, they, they want to do it justice. They're and, all and fanboys. Exactly. Yes. <laughs> and so uh, you know, knowing that you know, they're going to, to do this has been you know, really comforting to me. And also, like, when we sit down to talk about story, you know, they, they're pitching ideas to me, they're going over certain things, and, you know, it's always me just going, wow, that's a good idea. Hey, I really like that. Hey, good job, kids, you know? <laughs> uh, I'm not really that kind of I speaker. hope that's what you sound like. <laughs> ah, good job, and then you leave. I've got a cigar, like, You've a, got news, a, say, yeah. like a news hat. <laughs> sitting there with a newspaper. You're all brilliant, you'll be stars one day. Drinking coffee out. like an adult. But, uh, uh, <laughs> like but, an adult. Whatever adults do. I you don't know. know. <laughs> but, and then, you know, and then they've brought in Gary Wooda to, to help out and do that kind of stuff, and that's just a really good team. And, you know, I, I love Book of Eli. Uh, Gary's a buddy of mine. Uh, I think he's a fantastic writer who's also a huge fan of The Walking Dead. And, you know, knowing that these guys are not only fans, but also, you know, talented writers who, you know, are going to do the thing justice has been you know, really good for me, uh, you know, because I am a busy dude. And, you know, it's very important to me that this game, you know, feel like The Walking Dead and be true to The Walking Dead, uh, you know, comic and, and you know, really uh, uh, do it justice. We're going to take a short break to show you what you've been waiting for, a first look at Telltale's The Walking Dead. Not much, but here you go. Thank you. Of course. Hey, Carly. Let me have a look at that thing. Go ahead. Station is okay. In the event of a full uh, my my producer's telling me we have to get off the air. Steve. Uh, we shouldn't be out in the open like this. How about you help us clear the way and we'll take you and your daughter out of here and down to my family's farm. I'm not a dad. I'm the neighbor. Her parents are out of town. Let's get going. Staying put for too long is a mistake. So it's just you and your daughter then? Oh, not his daughter. He was her neighbor. Honey, do you know this man? Yes. Okay then. Well, looks like you hurt your leg pretty bad there. How'd this happen? Car accident. That's so. Where are you headed before the car accident? Just uh, out for a drive. Hmm. Can I give you a piece of advice? What is it? I don't know who you are or what you did, but you better become a better liar. 
fast. So what do you want Walking Dead fans to take away from this game? What do you want this experience to be? I, I mean, it's a heightening of the overall Walking Dead experience. It's I've read the comics, I've watched the show, you know, I've bought the lunchbox. Robert Kirkman. There's lunchboxes? And Robert Kirkman is a sellout. Yeah, of course. Oh. Uh, if after all that stuff, you know, you still want more, like, I, I want you to get a fulfilled experience. I want you to be able to spend a little bit more time in the world. I mean, this is kind of a cool thing because, you know, when you read the comic or you watch the show, you know, that's that's a certain kind of experience. There's, there's an interaction to it a little bit, you know, where you're thinking about how you would kind of, you know, live in this situation or what kind of decisions you would make. And, you know, this is really a heightening of that in that you can, you can interact with these characters now and you can kind of submerse yourself or immerse yourself or sub, some word that ends in merse. I don't know. That works. Um, <laughs> But I mean, you know, being able to, to spend some time in the Walking Dead world in a way that you've never been able to before is, uh, is awesome. And uh, I think that's what people are going to get out of this game, and that's what I want them to get out of the game. I want them to feel the terror and feel the loss and feel the horrible decisions that you have to make in order to survive. You're a terrible you know, person. Do I, yeah, I like to torture people. <laughs> do, I, do I steal this food and make this other person starve so that I can, you know, give it to this person who I want to live? Like, right. can... Can you, you know, do that? And, and I don't know, it's going gonna, it's, it's gonna to be awesome. So if the apocalypse hits, I, do, I don't want you around. Is essentially... oh, if the apocalypse hits, I'm not going to be around. <laughs> that, is, that is no fun. Look, I'm not going to last very long. No, okay. okay. Well, me neither. I'm not fast. I'm not smart. Wow. <laughs> well, listen, it has been a pleasure. Thank you so oh, much for talking to us today. Thanks a lot. Stay tuned for even more gameplay footage from Telltale's The Walking Dead. Intruder, or one of them. These people might need more help than I do. Daddy? Outside in my tree house. They can't get in. That's smart. See? Can you see me? I can see you through the window. Enter the world of The Walking Dead. The season begins in April for $5 per episode. <laughs>